courses, Arcology's Fundamental Structures. My name is Tyler Edders, and you're going to be going over um, the two fundamental pieces of Arcology's and then the three fundamental structures. So I'm going to try to keep this about 20 minutes or so. All right, so the first thing is signals. So there's two types of entity in Arcology's. There's signals and cells. Um, signals are this Y. It's a symbol for them. You can see them moving around. They're highlighted right now. Um, signals are the only things that move. Signals communicate, allow cells to communicate with each other. Signals have no um, I want to say this. They have no attributes other than a heading. All signals move at the same speed. All signals move at the same rate. They're created equal. Um, if two signals hit each other, they cancel each other out. So you can create some interesting interference patterns that way. Um, signals are really dumb. They don't know much about anything. They don't carry any more data other than a direction that they're going. Cells are where things are interesting. So this is the glyph for a cell. This is an empty cell. Cells are the stationary um, keys on the grid. Uh, there are different types of cells. Uh, there's 15 in the first version of Arcology's, and each cell has a structure. So there's 15 different structures in Arcology's. Um, so let's delete everything. And broadly, um, okay, so now I deleted all the cells. You can still see all the signals, so we can just hit play. It's kind of fun to watch them, watch them go away. Um, so broadly there's three main types of things that cells do. They either <clears throat> generate signals, they process signals, or they make noise with signals. Um, and the three cell structures we're going to go over today are the fundamental versions, the most basic versions of those three jobs. So. The hive looks like this. When you press an empty key on the grid, it creates a hive by default. Um, that's because the hive is kind of like your main, your main go-to tool. It has one job, and that is to create signals at highly predictable and regular intervals. So I'm going to open up all four of its ports and uh, hit play. And then we're going to see the signals coming out of the hive. Um, we can close a few ports. And now there's only one signal coming out of the hive. Um, if we select it, uh, we've got a few attributes here. So metabolism is the one that's going to control the rate that the signals come out of the hive. So if we crank this all the way up to 16, that means it's only going to create one signal every bar because our arcology is in, is a, has a length of 16. Um, if we wanted to, we could turn this down to 1. And now it's gonna spit an out, spit out a signal every single beat because our ecology's overall length is only one. But we're just gonna keep it at 16 because that's easier to crack. So you can see when I changed the metabolism, this little indicator up here showed the steps increase. So on the top is the global, and on the bottom is the cell. So if we move this down, we can see that our metabolism is going down. And then there's also an offset. So with the offset, you can move where that metabolism is. 
and the offset wraps around. You see it wrap there. Um, so that's it. That's all hives do. They create signals. And they're probably the most basic building block of any arcology. Um, fun thing you can do if you uh, press long press and then press anywhere else, you create a copy of any cell, any structure. So now we have another hive over here with all the ports open. It has the same metabolism, the same offset, etc. Um, K3 is always delete. That's all it does is it deletes. If you hold it, it deletes everything. If you have a cell selected, it just deletes it. So that's a hive. So next is a shrine, which looks like this. So shrines, go ahead and create one here. Shrines play notes. These play notes via Super Collider, which is the onboard synthesis engine that ships with Norns. Uh, right now, as of version one, we're just using the illustrious and adaptable polyperk synth voice. Um, so it's just the basic polyperk. There's nothing else going on with it. Uh, shrines don't have a metabolism. They don't have an offset, but they do have a note and a velocity. So our notes are going to be constrained to whatever scale we're in. And you can set the scale back here. And then the root also. So you just turn E3 to set the note. And then set the velocity here. Um, ports need to be open for the shrine to be able to receive signals. If ports are closed, it's not going to do anything. So if we create a hive right here, hit play. Um, we don't hear anything, nothing's happening. So we open up a port. Shrines also split signals. So this allows you to create little chains. Um, if you like chords, there's a couple ways you could do that. Um, So now the signal's coming from the hive to the shrine, playing a note, and then the other ports are open, so it's going to send those signals to these three here and play those all at the same time. And that's all a shrine does. So then last we have a gate, the final fundamental structure. So hives generate signals, shrines do something interesting with signals, gates are going to process signals. They don't create signals and they don't, um, processors as I call them, don't create or make noise with signals. They do something else with signals. So gates are, let's delete everything again. Um, so once again, I delete all of our all our cells. The signals are still there, and they're just going to propagate off the grid. Um, so first thing we need a hive, and then let's create a gate over here. Okay, so the way gates work is whenever. Best way to describe this. Okay, so 
what's happening here? Why is this moving? We have two hives and a gate. Whenever a gate is hit by a signal on a side that doesn't have a port open, it's going to invert all of its gates. So we have this pinwheel pattern going because the hive over here to the west is sending a signal in. Some of those pass through, but then every other time this hive is sending a signal and it's hitting a closed port. And when the gate hears that closed port signal hit, it inverts all of its, all of its ports. So we had two and two. Now we've got one and three. Um, if we were to just open everything, since it only operates on closed port hits, it's just going to stay open. Um, if we were to delete this cell, you know, here's a, this might be an easier way to see it. Um, this is just a gate with all four ports open and it's just propagating the signal as it comes through. So every time it happens, it inverts all, it doesn't invert any of its ports because it's not being hit by a closed port. So that's just a little taste of what happens in arcologies. You have hives that create um, signals. You have hives and other structures that create signals. You have shrines that do stuff with those signals. They play noises and then gates are in a class of structure that's going to process and manipulate those signals. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching.